Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective, I'm continuing to get some more energy about whatever went down today. You know, take the energy as it resonates with whom it may be with, friend, family member, your coworker, the boss, you know, whoever it is that you just met off the street, take the energy as it resonates. But somebody tried to bait you. Somebody tried to play you, right? My download is telling me it was more like a targeted, you know, thing, like a bait. Like it was intentional. They did it very specifically and it was intentional, right? And this is coming out with our Ace of Swords in the inverse with our first energy here. This is some type of lies, confusion, doubt, lack of understanding, like purposely being deceptive. And this is where my download is telling me this was like targeted. It was like bait. This was designed to be the a lie that you were supposed to fall for. Or lying on you, lying to you, however it resonated in your situation. That was on purpose. Don't doubt it. It was on purpose. It was not a mistake, okay? And it was just designed with this page of wands and the inverse coming out next to it, which is not good. Ugh, this is already starting off with bad energy, right? So the page of wands and the inverse is like to, give, um, to meant to give you some bad news, make you feel pessimistic, you know, lack of motivation, fearful even. Somebody tried to play you, like somebody tried to like legit play you, bait you with some type of targeted lies, confusion, doubt, misunderstanding. And it was meant to make you feel like this. Y'all, this is what I'm getting in my downloads, but I'm also, <laughs> my download is also telling me that they came at you with a targeted attack, that you had a bulletproof, a bulletproof vest. <laughs> y'all, the Most High does not play about y'all. I don't care who this person is. They cannot come against one of the children of the Most High because here's your energy coming out as the Nine of Wands in the inverse, which is very interesting, right? Here go the devil over here trying, trying to give you some targeted attack. And there's your energy, nine of wands in the inverse. This is dropping your defenses, weak and vulnerable, but this is not in a negative for you. This was a positive thing for you. My download said you straight ignored this person. <laughs> what, what, is, what is it? Um, ignore the devil and he will flee. And in, in that, in that what the verse is? Y'all, I'm getting in my download. Somebody ignored this. And in my last reading, you know, and I said that I felt... I know that you were avoiding the problems because the three of swords and the inverse came out. So I know that you were avoiding problems. You were either, you know, are you healing, walking away, however that showed up. And here goes the nine of wands in the inverse for your energy of how you handled this targeted attack with these lies, right? You know, not returning negative energy. And I don't feel like the, you know, the weakness and dropping your defenses was a bad thing. It was you ignoring it, not feeding into it, which is exactly what I said in my last reading. Y'all, my download said you have a bulletproof vest. <laughs> Y'all, yeah. the most high and the archangels do not play about y'all. All you need to do is ig this person to death and they will they will leave you alone, right? Trying to bring you some type of knight of swords energy. Get out of here. Get out of here. Collective is protected, right? Knight of swords is some type of... They, they probably tried to say something slick. Well, obviously, we've got sword energy here. Sword energy, sword energy, trying to make you feel some type of way. This was targeted on purpose. Knight of swords energy is some type of, you know, conflict some type of abrupt words by air communication. They said something, uh, wrote something slick to try to make you feel some type of way. And they would have said it, you know, this is like a quick moving night. So they would have said it, said it really valiantly. Like they knew what they were talking about. Like you're, you, you don't know what you're talking about collective. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. No, you're not, you're lying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're lying. But this was targeted is what I'm getting, but I'm also getting you got a bulletproof, uh, bulletproof vest because you ignored the crap out of them because they tried to come to you with some mess. Um, but now they're ha uh, not happy. Four cups energy. They're not happy because they missed out on the opportunity for this plan, this targeted lie to work. Now, if that ain't no demon, I don't know what is. This is somebody that was trying to get your goat, provoke you is what I keep hearing in my energy. This was targeted. This was on purpose with you know the page of wands energy behind it they wanted to make you feel some type of way this is somebody who loves doing this you know who this person is again take the energy take the energy where it resonates friend family member your co-worker your boss the ex i don't care who this is this person loves getting a reaction out of you 
So you answered with the right answer, ignoring them. Because if you know that this how this person's coming with what they want out of you, don't give it to them. You see what I'm saying, collective? Somebody out here is learning lessons. People, somebody's out here like, uh-uh, I'm not going to return that negative energy. I'm going to just ignore you. You, my friend, can talk to the hand, right? With whoever this two of cups and the inverse is. Some untrustworthy friend, some pro, um, might be an ex, some um, someone that's got unrequited love. You know what I'm saying? Some breakdown in a relationship. I'm really feeling like an untrustworthy friend who just keeps trying to provoke you to get a reaction out of you right on this page of wands in the inverse. Y'all, I do not make up the energy. It's right ya. It's right ya. <laughs> but what's also here is right under this nine of wands in the inner, um, inverse energy is the lovers. You made a good choice. It says... You making a life uh, life changing situation to not feed into the negativity because that's exactly what they wanted from you, y'all. If y'all don't have no proof that this person wants a reaction out of you, here you go. Looking for me? Here I go. That's what they want. But as soon as you don't give it to them, boom, lover's card comes out. You making a good choice regarding partnerships, regarding some uh, untrustworthy pr uh, person. You know, again, place the energy with whoever this person is, but you made the right choice in dealing with the situation that you're in some type of partnership with, right? You know, ignoring the crap out of them because they want, they don't want anything good from you. They want a negative reaction out of you. They want to see you pissed off. They like seeing you pissed off. They like seeing you rattled. They like seeing you, you know, you know, retort, you know, and just respond and just act out. That's what they want. That's really what they want. So they can point at you and be like, look what they did. See, 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 they're not, they're not controlling their emotions. I didn't do anything. It wasn't my fault. Liar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but something about this King of Pentacles energy is sticking out to me as far as how you handled this Knight of Swords energy. Nine of Pentacles talks about your stability, your finance security. So if this works, uh, resonates in a work situation, you're just like, look, I'm not trying to lose my job over this fool over here. Okay. I'm ignoring them. Right. If this is some ex trying to get your goat, maybe this person wants to have you act out, you know, maybe they got something going on where they, they just like pissing you off all the time, right? Something about this King of Pentacles energy, it's also very trustworthy and very disciplined, heavy on discipline. Somebody is disciplining their energy, disciplining their emotions, even though you pick up on it, you know, energetically, you know, if you're a psychic and empathic, you're picking up on those energy shifts, but it's you being disciplined in your energy when stuff like this happens because you know exactly the reaction that they want out of you. You see what I'm saying, Collective? That's why you're out here making a good choice to discipline your energy. And here go the Queen of Cups. You know what I'm saying? Queen of Cups, didn't we have Queen of Cups come out? In, uh, no, that was Page of Cups, y'all. Okay, so the Page of Cups came out in my last reading. Here you go, escalating to the Queen of Cups. Y'all, this is great. You are psychic and empathic. You are somebody who's emotional and sensitive, which means you pick up on energy shifts. You pick up on what this person was doing, the fact that they were lying, trying to come at you with some stuff that you knew that what they were, uh, their intentions was. And you also picked up on the fact that they were not happy that this didn't work. You picked up on all of that. I mean, it's like, you know exactly what time it is, right? So it's like you making good decisions out here with the lover's card to be going to um, nine of pentacles energy, single, self-sufficient, independent. This is you separating from this untrustworthy friend. Y'all, all this energy flows. You're separating yourself, being independent outside of this friendship, relationship, partnership, however this, this works for you, right? I don't need to be around somebody who's just going to lie to me just to piss me off, just to just to get rattled me and try to provoke me. I don't want to be around this person. I'm going to be nine of pentacles, single, self-sufficient, independent by myself, switching to the seven of wands energy. And uh, the, the lover's card is right under this. This is very important for you, which is what I was feeling in my last reading. I, I, y'all, I, I felt that while all this stuff was going on, even though you picked up on it energetically here with this queen of cups energy, you know, you might be psychic and empathic. You know what was going on energetically. I feel like you might have had to take a moment to steady yourself. And this is coming out in the reading. Y'all, I do not make up the energy. It's here. Seven of wands in the inverse could be that you had to, you know, move from this uh, or move in this nine of pentacles energy to overcome and make the right choice about maybe feeling overwhelmed because that's exactly what they wanted for you. You see what I'm saying? With that page of wands, you had to make the right choice about being overly defensive, right? And this could also resonate with accepting defeat. All this flows under the lover's card, what you had to make a choice about, y'all. And the fact that you ignored the crap out of this person was the right choice to overcome this energy. All this energy flows, y'all. This is exactly what I said in my last reading. This is exactly what I felt. 
you know, I'm, I'll, I'll tell you what I feel in the energy. It's, it's, you know, healing is not all rainbows and roses all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's like those moments where you're just like, man, I know they're trying to piss me off but I'm not gonna give them the reaction that they want. You see what I'm saying? So it's those moments when you pick up on it, you're like, all right, I have a choice how to respond. This is this death energy right here. This the choice that you made not to respond the way that they wanted you to respond. You see what I'm saying? This is a good death energy. I feel it on both sides, to be honest. This talks about change, transition, something ending for something new to begin. So I kind of feel it on both sides. You making the right decision not to give them the response that they wanted, you know what I'm saying? So this is like ending you responding back to them or, you know, reacting. Somebody's responding and not reacting. You see what I'm saying? So it's a death and an ending to that for a new way of responding to begin, which is a healthy way to handle it. And I got a very specific download. Like if somebody said something slick to you, you did not take on their energy because whatever they did, they wanted to invoke an uh, energetic response or emotional response. You acknowledge whatever they said, but not the not the emotion. That may make sense for someone because I'm getting that in a very specific download. You acknowledge what was said, but not acknowledging the emotion. Trying to get you in your emotions, Queen of Cups. Told you, somebody's out there trying to do that, but you you're like, nope, mm -mm. death energy, and it's also a death to them, you know, because they feel it. Literally, Four of Cups, they feel it when you don't respond the way that they wanted you to respond. They're like, oh, Four of Cups. <laughs> Oh, well, it's a death for them. It's an ego death, right? But at the same time, this is also a death to you reacting to things emotionally because that's what people want to do to get you to react emotionally. You can respond appropriately by ignoring the crap out of them. And that's a response that they're going to feel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this is also this five of, uh, five of pentacles in the inverse energy. This is like, you know, uh, you know, recovery, right? You have some type of financial recovery and you're having renewed faith in how to push forward. You saw yourself ignore the crap out of this person. And I really feel like you had like an energetic lift. It's like a, yeah, I did it. I did not give them the response that they were looking for. You might have kind of celebrated that moment mentally, you know what I'm saying, energetically. So this is you having like a renewed faith and moving forward and understanding that you can overcome this with positivity, overcoming negativity with positivity. This is you with this energy, right? Overcoming this eight of cups in the inverse energy, right? You know being stuck and you know this is something like to where you're not motivated if you were not motivated because of this person's negativity this moment right here with the death energy of you overcoming that now gives you the ability to overcome being stuck and not be motivated because now you got that five of pentacles energy you see what i'm saying confirmed with the nine of swords in the inverse y'all this is you overcoming the fear of this whoever this person was <sighs> This person is nothing to be worried about, y'all. This person cannot stop you at all whatsoever. You are overcoming the fear of this person's negativity. You know how to walk your talk now. This is exactly the energy. Y'all, here girl, confirmation after confirmation. Seven of Cups in the inverse here. This is you setting your intentions, finding focus, and making the right choice. Confirm with the lover's card out here. Told you. Ignoring the crap out of this person was the right choice and not giving them the response that they want, Queen of Cups. They know that you're an emotional person, so don't give them the emotion that they want. You obviously know how to how to do this now. You got this collective and a confirmation. Six of swords. You're moving on to karma waters. You are using your sword energy, communication energy to, you know, to respond and not react emotionally, right? To move on to karma waters, right? And our last clarifier is this is six of pentacles. This, this will give you your balance, some type of support. Things are going to be made fair, but you're making it fair by not giving people what they want. Even though when they come at you with negativity, trying to provoke you with some type of targeted attack. You got a bulletproof vest, my, my download said, you see what I'm saying? But it's, it's like the moment that you have this death energy to understand that what I'm ending is overreacting, accepting defeat in this situation. I'm also ending, you know, it being overly defensive about it. You don't have to be overly defensive. You can respond appropriately. And now this person, you ain't got nothing to worry about because you know exactly how to respond to them. Setting your intention, finding focus, making the right choice, confirm with the lover's card to move on to karma waters to get your own balance. That's you, collective. You did it. Let's get our astrology card to see what energy is at play here. what I say? Card 47, the Grand Cross, Provoker. Y'all, I legit said that. I legit said it. I did. All right, let's hear about a Provoker. The Grand Cross is an area of tension in the chart, thus becoming a great catalyst for movement and change. 
A rare astrological configuration, the Grand Cross, also called the Grand Square, occurs when four planets form a perfect cross in the skies. These planets are around 90 degrees from each other, meaning there are four planetary squares and two planetary oppositions. Squares in the astrological chart cause tension and restriction. Oppositions as well are seldom soft aspects. They come with the pressure to grow and they will exceed many limitations put in one's path. But the Grand Cross is the most rare and intense of all. In mythology, this alignment represents the four directions. The Grand Cross, also called the Cosmic Cross, is symbolic of the four seasons, equinoxes and solstices, as well as the cross-quarter days, indicating a period of time where your life may seem at cross purposes. Usually when a Grand Cross occurs, it indicates a crisis, yet through this calamity will be a painful process of growth, then renewal, and eventually a greater foundation for happiness and success. Strangely, it is almost as if the planetary energies are in competition with each other. This may be a rather exasperating time where you feel provoked and frustrated over booby traps that seem to have been set in your way on purpose. That's if everything is working at cross purposes, that is. You feel pulled in many directions, such as false leads and failed plans, which may leave you unable to produce concrete achievements. An area to look at when the Grand Cross card comes up is how you communicate. Are you communicating as well as you should? Are you abandoning worthy projects last minute that lose its shine in an effort to capture a larger, more glossier prize? But more simply, in your effort to accomplish more, are you juggling balls in the air? Do you notice that you juggle? Or if you're stuck in the same spot, that not too much has been achieved either? When this card represents itself in a reading, it suggests there are multiple talents you are able to access, as well as numerous paths you can take. Focus and organization are key. Until this matter phases out, expect resistance since opposition is the main energy field of the Grand Cross. Once on track, the momentum towards the attainment of what you desire will be impossible to stop. It mainly has to do with the shifting of your energy and switching into gear. In regards to relationships or love, they will have a faded quality about them. You will not want to let go of a person no matter how hard it gets. There will be a sacrifice and compromise within this relationship and it will be one where you may want to bump your head against the many walls that seem to fly up out of nowhere. You are being challenged. And if you do not weather it out and see what the future brings, you will likely always regret letting this relationship go. If this question is about business or career, know that it will happen, but it will be hard. You will have to be willing to walk the miles. Diligence will be required. What is positive about the Grand Cross card is you are becoming more realistic and focused. You won't be attracted by so much of the glitz and glitter, but looking more towards stability and long lasting success. A good thing to remember is that it's best not to fight the hard lessons at this time. In fact, this is a period where you need to take stock of all that has been brought to you in this place. It is time to draw upon your own strength. In doing so, you will move from uncertainty into a place of peace and contentment. Yep, and the card that corresponds to this Grand Cross is the Nine of Wands, told you. So when he was dealing with being provoked and you have been dealing with this, I feel like this has been continuing. But specifically for this reading, this is really giving me some type of bait, some type of provoking. This is the energy that you were going through. So that was some really good advice. I hope that helps somebody. Let's get an Archaeo card and we'll wrap it up. Strategist. You maybe have um, been dealing with the strategist in this particular situation, or you may have been a strategist because I really feel like you saw what was going on. You kind of, you know, took a step back and was just like, no, I'm not going to, you know, fall into your plot and you ignore this person. You follow the right strategy. The strategist is the sum of calm, clarity, and foresight. He will help you resolve your complex problems. His mind is a needle threading its way through the multiple mathematical possibilities that lie before you. We are easily overwhelmed by the sheer mass of information around us, but the strategist stays focused, precise in his analysis of cause and effect and outcome. The strategist is a careful tactician. Through the clouds of smoke and the refractions of light, he sees the pieces shifting moves ahead, the whole game of chess flexing and shaping itself into the likely and unlikely. His brain is clear, and he uses his razor-sharp logic to calculate the possible outcomes of any given path. He is comfortable amongst the abstraction and never blindsided by complacency. No narrow-minded academic trying to make events fit into a predefined formula. He sees possibilities and options that you and I might overlook. The strategist's vision is wide and he incorporates into his calculations his own behavior patterns as well as that of any opponent. A master of the checkerboard of night and day where destiny with men for pieces plays. He moves and mates and slays. 
and one by one, back into the closet, he lays. See, I, this is you definitely being a strategist. Somebody thought they were trying to be a, a good strategist against you, but you actually made the right move while they were trying to provoke you. And literally, didn't I say in my earlier reading, um, somebody's playing checkers and you're playing chess? Y'all, and here we go with the strategist coming out. <laughs> I can't make this up. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.